marijuana was the safest medicine. Judge Francis Young, federal DEA law judge, ruled after 15 years of taking testimony that marijuana was the safest therapeutically active substance on earth, or one of the safest, though he couldn't find anything safer. He said it was one of the safest, that nobody had ever died from marijuana. There wasn't one reliable source that ever points to it as a premature death or hastening a person's death. Marijuana is currently scheduled as a, uh, it's classified as a Schedule One controlled substance, in, um, which means non-medicinal and the most dangerous, along with heroin and acid. Schedule Two, which means higher in medicinal value and safer for you, is cocaine and meth. Now, uh, usually when I tell people that, they're pretty shocked. They might even question my credibility, but that's the fact. That's the Controlled Substance Act. Nixon did it in, uh, you know, in the 70s, and we still use those guidelines to destroy people's lives. If we're specifically talking about the medicinal use of marijuana, it's, it is critical that people have an opportunity to use it. I have seen people break down and cry when they could not use it because it eliminated pain for them and everything else. And then when they were forced not to use it, they had to go back to pharmaceutical drugs and it almost ruined their lives. And I said, we have an opportunity to make it right and to get people to use this. People that took cancer chemotherapy and got nausea and couldn't eat. Well, cancer chemotherapy generally works by killing all the cells in your body, good and bad. And then you eat, and when you eat, you grow your new cells. You know, with the nutrition of the food. Well, they couldn't, they couldn't eat. They were so sick and nauseated by the cancer chemotherapy, you know, killing off all their cells because it's poisoning your whole body. Then, boom, they, they, uh, they, with the, with the cancer chemotherapy, they got out and uh, uh, did marijuana, and they ate, and they ate, and they ate, and a lot of them started surviving, and doctors started suggesting it. And the federal government says, well, no, we're not going to give them crude, dirty marijuana that comes from Mother Earth. But, you know, since humankind, human beings have smoked or enjoyed plants made by nature. And that's what this is. It's a plant made by nature. I support it because it helps eliminate pain in people. And that it could very well be a cancer-causing fighting agent. And if that's the case, we should be doing all we can to get it out into the public's hands. Anybody that's got cancer chemotherapy, and they'll tell you, or AIDS, and they'll tell you, Without marijuana, they feel like they're dying of their AIDS or dying from their cancer or whatever it is. But with pot, they feel like they're living with their cancer or AIDS. And the difference between feeling like you're dying from your cancer or AIDS and feeling like you're living from your cancer is huge. And the federal government refuses to move one-lanth of an inch on this. They would rather see people die than get high.